So today we're doing a tour of Levy Mon Awasaki University Teaching Hospital. I'll be taking you guys around to just take a look and just see what it looks like and also just to have some sense of direction when you come here so you can know exactly where you're supposed to be and just find it a lot more easier. Levi Monawasa University Teaching Hospital, which was named after our late president, the third president of Zambia, Dr. Levi Patrick Monawasa, is located along the Great East Road. It's also right in front of Levi Monawasa Medical University, which is where the students you're seeing are from. The first thing you're going to see right before you enter is going to be the pharmacy on your left. And when you enter, you're going to see the reception. And on your right, that is called a male adult medical emergency unit. This is where pharmacists, doctors and nurses attend to our patients, that's patients coming from home, in an emergency setting. You would enter one of these rooms and talk to your doctor. Radiology is another place you may have to visit after having a little chat with your doctor. They may have to run some investigation and radiology helps with that. We're now in radiology, this is where you get your scans from. So you have the first door here, and then you have another door right here. So this is where the patient will enter from and get their results from over there. I've actually already entered the third part of the pharmacy. It is quite where everything else comes to, as you can see with the boxes and everything else. That's the three pharmacy places that we have. They're all here downstairs. There's another one on top that I know of. So that makes it all total of four, but I'm not sure if there's more, but the ones that are more popular are this one, the one by the entrance, and the one in the mail that we've already seen. Now let's go to the classes. So this building behind me contains a lot more offices than classes but what I use it for most of the times are classes so I'm going to take you to the classes. This right here is the theatre and then we have the other classes at the beginning that way. And then you also need to ask if they were involved in other activities such as sports, lifting, uh, heavy weights, also if there was. This is another classroom that is right opposite the one we just left. As you can see, it doesn't accommodate a lot of people, so if the crowd is too big, you can use the auditorium. To be responsible for OFU. Checking that these vaccines are okay. If the temperature is going below. Sometimes we may have meetings among different healthcare personnel, doctors, nurses, students, so it's best to use auditorium because it has more space in that case. This is where we have our test room and exams and also a few offices. So now we move on to the second floor. So this whole part right behind me is mostly wards from top to bottom. So this is where the inpatients are going to be admitted and going to stay. Over here is a little house-ish which is the chapel and this part is mostly for outpatients or just investigations and everything else that happens in the hospital. So let's do a one word because if you've seen one, you've seen them all, they're all quite similar.
so this is a part where your stool, your urine comes to and they work on it from this area. So our next stop is now going to be the theater. Let's go. Alright, so I'm now ready to go into theatre. Everybody else important puts their stuff in these lockers or around. But I am clearly not as important, so I'm going to put mine on top. In this conference room we have tutorials before or in between procedures as well waiting for the patient and the room to be prepared. Waiting on the procedure. Oh, it's not. If the strain is less than 2% it means the bone is. So it's mad promotion. It's actually negligible movement. It's not so. So this thing was broken like this, like this. You said the pathogen is going to use a good lot of work because the big colors and then it means that the strain is larger than 10%. So the bottom is looking. So that was surgery we had a hair procedure. Yes, let's continue with our tour. Opposite theatre is the ICU and at the far end is the patient's passage into theatre. So this here is a free study area for students and also doctors if you like. You come here when you are free within between whatever you're doing at the time if you're on call or lunchtime or any of that. Also this way is town so you can see the vehicles passing all the way this way so that's my friend marianne helping me carry the bag thank you very much <laughs> this place is used for studying but can also be used for tutorials if the other classes are occupied <laughs> So this here is the cafeteria, the only one in the hospital. There are more outside, but this one is right here. So this place is open to everyone and it is right beneath the study area we just saw and food starts getting served around 11 to 12. So that's why you don't see any people there. You can also eat from outside. This is the outside area. 
Another place where patients coming from home can be seen is clinic. This is why you see mostly patients that come for reviews, but also new patients as well, like the ones that do not present in a male. Here's a little scene of what actually happens in clinic. So, I just put a POP. As you can see from all of this and all of this bubbly water. And I messed up though. I messed up a little bit because the uh, wool was too thick so I had to remove this. Well, the doctor came in and told me it was too thick so I had to remove half of it. This is what it remains. I did a POP. Me. Me. <laughs> I wasn't alone because you can't put a POP alone. You need somebody to help you hold. So let me just clean up this mess and then I'll be on my way home. I've been asked to do another POP. Everybody else is going, all my friends are gone. But this one is not going to be so hard because it's just like these parts, okay? So from here to there, this one, the first one we did together with the other guys was supposed to be from here all the way into there. So that was a lot more harder. You need more people to help you. But this one, I'm alone. I'll ask the patient's guardian to help me put it. But let me just lay it down with you guys. We're going to do it together. Good First, we're going to have to get the POP itself. The patient has gone to the bathroom, so I can take my time a little bit until she comes back. But the thing is, you go in there, you measure the patient. So I'm going to be measuring from in here up to there. That's where we're going to put the POP. The POP is just, if you're a Zambian, you know what she do there is, right? Yeah. Prep and also the POP itself. So this is what the POP is. So this is too thick. This is a mistake I made the first time. This is way too thick, so I have to just get half of this and use that instead. But I need to measure out the patients from here to here as well. So that's why it's going to determine how much of this I'm going to use. So let me just do that. I think she should be back by now. Bonjour, Mamie. Munyum. <laughs> So using that estimation, I'm now just going to measure out how much that is going to be. So we ended somewhere here. So I'm just going to measure out up to here. But also measure out the, this part, the wool, right? I'm going to just wrap these and have about 14 folds. Uh, anywhere from 12 to 14. It's 1, 5, start from where I ended. And 10. One more. Okay. Let me just do 13. This should be good. 
I'm just get some scissors and then cut this up. I use the surgical blades. Why am I so rough? So this now gets dipped into water. And I'll just wait for the bubbles to disappear and then I can continue. So in the meantime, let's now cut out this part. So it's from here to there. And now I'm just going to make it a little bit longer than where it's supposed to end. But you don't want it to keep on scratching the patient. But for the next part, I'll need help, so now I'm going to go to the Guardian and just help me. Just help me do this because this should be done quickly. You don't want this to dry out. So, there we go. Just lay down like that and also. So, I'll put all the time and that is the POP. I couldn't show you guys because I couldn't really show the patient. So I get chest I got chest out of the first room we were using. Remember it was much smaller than this. So now we're in here because the nurse said I made a mess in their room. So this is where we did the second one from. But we're done. This is where I usually do them from anyway. But we're done now, so I'm just going to clean up everything, all the mess that I've made, and then we can go home. This goes back into storage. Oh. I actually like it also. But this is our this is only our first week, so we'll see how I feel about it later. <laughs> this is somewhat clean enough. They'll finish cleaning up. But I've left everything clean. Everything. Let me show you. So the hospital is not empty at all. I intentionally filmed empty spaces because I didn't want to make anyone uncomfortable. So I hope you found this useful. Everybody's just trying to get to know where what is whenever they come here. The amount of people that stop anyone in lab court or scrubs. So I hope this helps in a way, just to help you find where it's supposed to be and also just to look around and get to know what it looks like. See you in the next one. Bye!